ਸਤਿ अकाल स्वागत है ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰ ਸੀਰੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਤੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਜਸਤੀਨ ਕੌਰ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰ ਸੀਰੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਪਾਰਟੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੱਸ ਦਈਏ ਕਿ ਫੈਡਰਲ ਚੋਣਾਂ 20 ਸਤੰਬਰ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜਿਸ ਲਈ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ ਅਤੇ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੇ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰਾਂ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਪਾਲਿਸੀਜ਼ ਦੱਸ ਕੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਦਿਲ ਜਿੱਤਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਦੀ ਯਾਰਕ ਸਾਊਥ ਵੈਸਟਰਨ ਰਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਤੋਂ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜ਼ਿਕਰਯੋਗ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਹਿਮਦ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਲਿਬਰਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਆਫ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਜ਼ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਐਂਡ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਆਫ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਜੋਂ ਸੇਵਾਵਾਂ ਨਿਭਾ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹਨ ਹੈਲੋ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਜੁਆਇਨਿੰਗ ਪੀਡੀਸੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮੱਚ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ This time we have the shortest election campaign and since the beginning of the campaign numerous announcements have been made by the liberal leader Justin Trudeau housing uh, market is one of the key issue in this elections and uh, liberal leader proposed to stop the blind bidding if re-elected do you think that liberals proposal will help to cool down the housing market well first of all the uh, liberal housing plan is is very comprehensive yes it includes uh, an end to blind bidding but there's a number of other things that uh, we're presenting including presenting uh, a home a potential home owner bill of rights as well as making sure that we ban foreign investment in the real estate market and, num- and a number of other measures that are intended uh, first to uh, deal with the issue of uh, housing price increases that uh, that are astronomical in terms of really uh, making it uh, almost out of reach for young people and first time home buyers but also making sure that we deal with the affordability challenges faced by uh, by first time home buyers so there's a number of things in in our uh, plan uh, including increasing uh, housing supply as well as building even more affordable housing but uh, mr hussain all parties have housing plan or all party leaders have a uh, plan for affordable housing units but why do you think that your party's plan is the most comprehensive and it will attract voters first of all no no other political party other than the liberal party of canada is is proposing to ban blind bidding we know blind bidding uh, has been uh, disadvantageous to home buyers uh, we want tra- more transparency in the system and uh, you know potential home buyers have been pressured for example to waive uh, home inspections uh, as a way to get into uh, into home ownership so we are creating a home owner uh, potential home buyer bill of rights including uh, banning uh, blind bidding but also making it mandatory to 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 have home inspections we are the only political party and uh, the liberal housing plan that is offering to do these things we're the only political party that has a plan to introduce a rent to own program to allow even more young canadians and first time home buyers the opportunity and a pathway to home ownership we are the only political party under the liberal housing plan that is proposing to create a first time home buyer tax free savings account of up to $40000 and our housing supply goals uh, in terms of increasing housing supply working with municipalities and doing a number of other things including the increase or uh, to uh, the uh, affordable housing stock in Canada and repairing more units all of that is is way ahead of any other political party in this election as we see that this pandemic has exposed many issues uh, for instance child care liberal leader proposed 10 dollar a day child care if reelected uh to this many provinces have agreed but the deal was not done with ontario so if liberals get mandate can we expect ontario to be part of this well the uh, re-elected liberal government will ha- will place an absolute priority on making sure that the remaining 50% of canadian uh, children who are not covered by the uh, canada wide uh, system for early learning and child care uh will be covered and we will do everything that we can to make sure that we conclude an agreement with Ontario with the remaining provinces of Ontario, Alberta and New Brunswick as well as the territories of Nunavut and Northwest Territories. Right now, we have agreements with eight uh provinces and territories and that's great news for families because they will see in those eight provinces they will see their fees reduced by half by next year and they have a plan uh, to get to $10 a day. 
through the use of federal funds, as well as, of course, their own efforts. We hope to do uh, the same for the remaining uh, provinces and territories that have not signed on to the system. But make no mistake, uh, this is not just about uh, affordability. It's also about making sure that we increase the number of affordable childcare spaces. It's also about making sure that we hire more teachers and retain them and uh, promote uh, more professional development and, uh, and uh, wage increases for them. None of that will be achieved with the conservative uh, plan for, uh, for, 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 for offering tax credits to parents. Tax credits do not increase the number of affordable childcare spaces. They do not lead to the hiring of more teachers. And they certainly will not get us to $10 a day childcare. So our plan is the only plan that is offering uh, to uh, get to parents uh, to, to, to experience affordable, accessible, inclusive, and high quality early learning and childcare. And it's, you know, it is, this is real in eight provinces and territories. Now the issue is to make sure that we re-elect a liberal government so that uh, we can get to work to complete uh, this uh, historic mission uh, to make sure that all children in Canada have access to affordable, high quality, inclusive and accessible childcare. But conservatives have said that they will scrap this if they are elected. Well, that's precisely uh, true. And uh, this is completely uh, problematic for parents because we know that uh, families across Canada have been calling for affordable childcare for many, many years. People are facing very high childcare fees. It's sometimes it costs more uh, than, than even carrying a second mortgage. Uh, paying for even one child, uh, one child's childcare fees in, in Ontario, in some parts of uh, many parts of Canada, British Columbia, many parts, uh, is equivalent to carrying a second mortgage. We are offering relief to parents, and that relief is on the way for all the provinces and territories that have signed this. Uh, I've signed on to this Canada-wide system, and we hope that uh, Ontario, New Brunswick, and Alberta can sign on as quickly as possible, uh, as well as Northwest Territories and Nunavut, with a re-elected re Liberal government. Now, it is really concerning to hear the Conservatives say that they will not only move ahead, not, not only not move ahead with this system, but that they will cancel the existing agreements. That's bad news for parents. It's bad news for uh, working moms. It's bad news for our economy. And it's certainly bad news for kids because our children need the best possible start in life. And that is taking us backward. We can't afford to do that. We need to move forward. We need to move forward for everyone, for all the families that, are, uh, that have been waiting for a long time for affordable, high quality, inclusive and accessible early learning and childcare. Mr. Hussain, as I mentioned in the beginning, that numerous announcements have been made by the Liberal leader. But again, uh, every election, uh, when the platform has released, a lot of policies, a uh, lot of plans uh, are announced. But we do not have a timeline when they will be implemented. For instance, last time, Liberals announced that they will waive off the uh, citizenship fees for Canadians. So we, we do not still see uh, this being implemented. So is there a time uh, when the new policies will be implemented? Well, you've seen, uh, you know, in our first mandate and our second mandate, uh, a, a real uh, desire on our part and a, and a track record of really, really delivering for, uh, for parents, for families, for children, uh, for seniors, for workers, for students, and for our economy. You've seen throughout this unprecedented challenge uh, of COVID-19, that uh, we've had the backs of Canadians, as uh, our leader Justin Trudeau has consistently uh, stated, that we will have, the, we will continue to have the backs of Canadians uh, for as long as it takes and whatever it takes. And we have to fight, finish the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. We have delivered uh, vac enough vaccine doses for each and every eligible Canadian uh, that uh, two months ahead of schedule. Uh, we have delivered, uh, you know enormous amounts of support to businesses, to the nonprofit sector, to families, to seniors, uh, and making sure that we're there for a number of hard hit sectors of our economy. A re-elected Liberal government will uh, obviously prioritize uh, the completion of the fight against COVID. 
but we also need to make sure that uh, we are recovering uh, with a strong economic recovery, but a, a recovery that is also inclusive of everyone. And part of that is uh, key to that is uh, finishing the work that we had started on early learning and childcare, making sure that this Canada-wide system is available to every child in Canada so that no child is left behind. It's good for, you know, uh, an affordable childcare system is good for working moms, particularly. It's good for kids and it's certainly good for our economy. And it is really concerning to see the Conservatives say that they will cancel it if they get elected. Welcome back after the break. We have in conversation with us the Liberal candidate for York South Western Riding. Mr. Hussain, as we know that uh, the Canadians will head out to vote on September 20th and the Liberal government called this election to win a majority government. But what if the minority is elected again? Well, we are working hard to engage voters to present a positive plan that includes everyone. Uh, we are offering a vision and a plan to address the real needs of uh, Canadian families, Canadian uh, middle class, the Canadian middle class. Things like uh, affordable childcare, uh, a pathway to home ownership for folks who are struggling to access their dream of home ownership, redoubling our efforts to build more affordable housing, cooperating and putting incentives on the table to work with municipalities to dramatically increase housing supply in Canada. All of these things are very, very important uh, to Canadians. And we believe that uh, we have to work hard to earn uh, the trust of Canadians to make sure that uh, we re-elect a Liberal government that can move very quickly on these priorities and build on the strong foundation that we've established so far. We have demonstrated that we've been there for Canadians before COVID, during COVID, and we'll continue to be there for Canadians uh, as we complete the fight against COVID. Uh, I am focused, uh, as all members of the Liberal team, on uh, engaging Canadians, on, uh, on positive politics, on making sure that uh, we are continuing to present that positive plan uh, for having the backs of Canadians and moving families, children, seniors, and our economy forward. But doing so in an inclusive manner. And that's why we choose uh, to go forward together for everyone and uh, not take us back uh, by cancelling early learning and childcare agreements that have already been signed. Uh, you know, the Conservatives are really, really not dealing with the real issues faced by Canadians uh, when they threaten to cancel uh, agreements that have already been signed. Uh, through our Canada-wide system of early learning and childcare. They're certainly uh, not going to ban blind bidding. They will not uh, discourage the, fine, uh, you know, the, uh, the foreign investment into our real estate market. They're not doing much on housing supply. They're not doing anything to invest in, uh, in, in, in affordable housing. And they certainly are not mentioning uh, anything to, with respect to measures to eliminate chronic homelessness from Canada. We are the only political party that is publicly committed to uh, eliminate chronic homelessness from Canada. So the choice is clear, uh, and we hope that Canadians move forward uh, together with us and, 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 and vote for a vision that includes everyone in our economic growth. Mr. Hussain, as we see that Liberal leader Justin Trudeau is facing security threats and negative responses during his election stops. His Bolton election stop was even cancelled and uh, days back, uh, small rocks were thrown at him. What do you think, what negative impact this will have on election? Well, I can tell you that uh, our leader Justin, uh, Justin Trudeau, as well as our Liberal team, uh, we are strong, we are confident. We uh, practice positive politics. I condemn any form of violence uh, and, and, and intimidation and, uh, you know, and, and vulgar language directed, uh, directed at any political leader. Um, and uh, you know, seeing uh, what uh, our liberal leaders being subjected to is completely unacceptable. That is not the kind of Canada that we want. That is not the kind of Canada that uh, we would like to see. And obviously I condemn that in the strongest terms and I hope that uh, moving forward, uh, we can all uh, conduct ourselves 
in a way that uh, respects the uh, democratic freedoms and, and human rights of everyone. We can disagree, we can have strong debates, and in fact, that's what makes our, our democracy very strong and resilient. But violence has no place in a democratic, uh, free and democratic society. And uh, we, we hope this uh, stops as soon as possible. But do you think this is because uh, people were frustrated because they were home since pandemic? Or do you think uh, uh, am American ambience has affected Canada's political culture? Uh, there there is no excuse for violence. There is absolutely no excuse for violence. Uh, violence of any form against any political leader is completely unacceptable. We can have disagreements. We can have passionate debate about the issues that matter, including uh, any, any issues related to COVID-19, but violence of any form against any political leader and candidate is completely, completely unacceptable. And we must all unite to condemn uh, this violence and intimidation and racism and, uh, and vulgar language in, in, and we have to condemn it in the strongest language possible. And we have to come together. Uh, across party lines, because this is not the kind of Canada that uh, that we would like to see, and this is not the kind of uh, uh, behavior that we expect from uh, from uh, from from folks who are trying to use violence to intimidate others, and that's that's completely unacceptable. And we have to condemn it, and we we should certainly not try to excuse this behavior. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Zain, now as you're campaigning uh, and door knocking, so I would like to know what other issues people are bringing uh, which needs to be addressed. It's, uh, you know, I, I hear uh, obviously in addition to uh, affordable child care and access to affordable housing and housing affordability, uh, the other issues that come up include uh, help for seniors, help for the nonprofit sector. What are we doing to grow our economy? How are we completing our fight against the COVID-19 pandemic? All of those are, are questions that come up at the doors. And I am happy to share with my, with, with my constituents, uh, with, with, with residents of York Southwestern, our vision of positive politics, uh, our vision to have an inclusive and strong economic recovery. And central to that is affordable childcare delivered through the Canada a uh, wide system of early learning and childcare that will uh, guarantee uh, affordable, accessible, high quality and inclusive childcare for every family in Canada. That's the liberal vision. If you look at our housing plan, it is miles ahead of everyone else. If you look at our plan to uh, continue to support Canadians and, and finish the fight against the COVID-19 pandemic, we have demonstrated uh, that we have the leadership and the record to deliver for Canadians and we want to continue to do so. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Hussain, for joining PDC Punjabi. In the end, any message for the Canadian voters? Thank you very much for having me. I hope your viewers uh, elect, re-elect a Liberal government that will continue, uh, obviously, uh, to, to support them in the fight against COVID, but also to um, have their backs as we uh, build back better and ensure an inclusive and strong economic recovery. Justin Trudeau and our Liberal team have proven over and over again that we have the backs of Canadians, that we are there for Canadian seniors, Canadian families, children, the nonprofit sector, businesses, as well as workers, and we will continue to do so. Uh, we are making the necessary investments. We have made the necessary investments and will continue to make the necessary investments to ensure that Canadians are set up for success uh, but we have to include everyone and we cannot leave anyone behind. All right. Thank you so much for joining uh, PDC Punjabi once again and we wish you good luck. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks. So, this is our last question for today. If you have any questions or questions, you can write a page on feedback at ptcnetwork.com. In the meantime, I will give you the opportunity to share the news of the world. So, stay tuned to PDC News.